Hello everyone, if you've been watching my YouTube channel for a while, you know how much I love collaborating with Motion VFX, as I think that they have the best DaVinci Resolve plugins out there. And today I would like to show you one of their best selling toolkits called MDocumentary. MDocumentary is a very versatile toolkit that contains over 72 narrative tools that can help you increase the impact of your visual storytelling. Today I will show you how this toolkit works and if you like it, you can get 10% of this toolkit and also you can get 10% of other Motion VFX plugins. Just click on my affiliate link below this video and use my promo code KASHA10. I hope you like it. Let's start. So let's start from LATS. I am in my color tab and I have a few different clips on the timeline, but let's focus on this one. And now we can turn off the clips to get a bigger preview. And then here in the LATS tab, once we have installed the M Documentary plugin, of course, in the Motion VFX folder, we will be able to find five M Documentary creative LATS and I will show you how you can customize them. So when we hover with the mouse over the LAT, we can preview it. So this is the class reunion LAT. Then we have expired passport, then faded memory, then night walker, and then spilled coffee. They are all very nice and classy LATs. So I'll maybe grab the first one and I will simply drop it onto my note. And this is before and after. It works very well with my footage, but you can use creative LATs in many different ways. You can, for example, go to key tab and over here you can decrease gain to decrease the opacity of the LAT before and after if you want more subtle look, but let's reset it. As LATs do affect the color, contrast and the luminance, you can right click on the node where you apply the LAT and then you can go to the composite mode and you can change it from normal to color and this is what we've got. So now our LAT affects only the color, leaving the original contrast and the luminance. And then you can obviously perform more changes to it underneath this LAT. Now let's move to the edit tab and here we can access other M documentary tools from the effects tab. So I have just searched for the M documentary in my toolbox and this way I can preview all the tools available in this plugin. And as I have mentioned, there's 72 different tools. And first we have freeze frames and I would really like to show you how you could use these freeze frames to create a parallax effect as I think it's very interesting. So here again, we can preview all of our freeze frame effects like this and in order to use it to build our parallax effect let's zoom into our timeline then let's right click on our clip and let's select read time controls and then over here let's select freeze frame and this way we have created a freeze frame at the position of our cursor. Let's see it. And we can obviously make our freeze frame longer or shorter, whatever we want to do. I will leave it like this. And now let's search in the toolbox for the adjustment layer. And let's place it on top of the freeze frame. Let's also make sure that the adjustment layer is as long as the freeze frame to make this effect work properly. And now let's select our adjustment clip. And let's go back to our M documentary tools. And I will grab a freeze frame number three. And I will drop it onto my clip. And let's play it. And this is how the effect looks so far. It's not very interesting. So let's do something cool with it. 
So here on the right in the inspector, we can read that we can separate the foreground in the Fusion page. And I know that some of you don't like to work in Fusion, but trust me, this is something very easy to do. So let's click on our Fusion icon that will take us to the Fusion page. And then here we have our Media In Note, that's our input, then Media Out Note at the end, and this is our output, and our effect is in the middle. And now, how to separate the foreground from the background. So if you have a studio version of Resolve, you could simply use the magic mask, but I know that a lot of you are using the free version of the software, so I will show you how you can do it using the polygon mask. So let's grab the polygon mask from the toolbox over here. And now let's zoom into our clip. And now I will basically manually draw a mask around the curl. So I will speed up the video, but it will not take that long though, as we have only one frame to work on. So let me do it quickly. And we can also see our mask on the right over here. So let's zoom out. And now to make the effect work properly, we will need another node called Mat Control. So let's hit Shift Space and let's grab it from the tools. And now we'll take the yellow output from our Media In node and we'll connect it with the Mat Control. And then we have a few inputs in the Mat Control node. And what's very important, we need to connect the polygon mask with this gray garbage mat input. Okay, and now also we need to connect the output of the mat control with the documentary freeze frame node. And now when we scroll through, we can see that the mask is actually inverted. So when we have our polygon node selected, let's go to the polygon and let's invert the mask and let's play the clip. Perfect. And now I will also soften the edge of the mask a little bit over here. And now let's go back to the edit tab, as here we can customize our freeze frame a bit more. So here in the effects tab, we have a lot of controls to play around with. We can, for example, turn off the color adjustments of the foreground, so it's not black and white. Then we also have the background controls, so we can, for example, change the scale of the background, turn off blur, and so on. So I'll leave it to you to play around with. And now let's maybe move to the first clip on my timeline. This is how it looks. And here I would like to show you M documentary movements that are also fully customizable. So first we have a custom movement. Then we have the distortion zoom in then the distortion zoom out, then the flash zoom in and the flash zoom out, then move horizontal, then move vertical, and at the end we have target zoom in and target zoom out. So let's grab the distortion zoom out and let's drop it onto our clip and then let's see how we can customize it. So we can, for example, get rid of the particles over here. And now let's maybe go back to the movement control. And here we can change the zoom amount. And what's very cool, when we zoom out, the tool automatically recreates the background. So we'll never have any black edges. But I will maybe change the zoom amount to 0.11. And now let's open the effects controls. And here again, we can disable this place or the adjustments like vignette. Then we can get rid of the prism blur if we don't like it. Basically, as you can see, these effects are all highly customizable, but I will maybe increase the aberration over here. And this is before and after. Now let's move to our close up shot over here, as I want to show you different overlay effects available in this plugin. I won't be able to go through all of them, 
but censoring is a good one and it can be helpful if you work a lot on documentary content. So let's drop it onto the node. And here, for example, we want to cover only the eyes, so we can simply change the position of the effect. Then we can also change the size of it very simply. Then another effect I like is called film strip. So I'll grab it. This is how it looks. And it basically turns our moving clip into a photo. Then we have like different flicker, glass, lens effect, letterbox that's always very handy. But the film photography is also a good one. This effect looks like we were taking a picture. And then we have another picture effect. Basically, I highly recommend you to go to the Motion VFX website and to have a look at the toolkit on your own. We also have here a few different backgrounds in case you want to use something different than the footage. And then we have a lot of typography as well. Dates, titles, timelines, credits, etc. And at the end, we have a few great transitions. So to summarize, the M Documentary Toolbox is very versatile and no wonder why it is so popular. So if it's something for you, click on the link below this video and use my promo code KASHA10 to get the 10% off. See you on the next one.